So, shooters and bullet casters, as you see, we're going to talk about that latest bullet, the 240 grain round nose 44 caliber bullet today, loading that. But before we do, I'd like to show you what I got some gifts that came in to me. And this one's from Norm. It's a Kershaw pocket folder. And the reason why he gave me this is because he couldn't stand to see me using my golden spike to open boxes or my case cutter to open boxes. So he got me this nice Kershaw pocket folder. Give you a close look at that. And like Kershaw's are, they open very nicely, very easily. And this has a nice clip, good firm grip. And it is a liner lock type of blade with spring assisted opening. So thanks to Norm for that. But also, from G-Man 77 Gas in Wisconsin, he found this nice 375 Holland and Holland Magnum brass at the range. There's eight rounds here. And he's suggesting that I go ahead and do my reloading project for the 375 Holland Holland Magnum. Well, I'm gonna have to really think about doing that now. So thanks to G-Man 77 Gas for his very thoughtful finding the, this brass at the uh, range and then he cleaned it up and uh, sent it over to me. Then, just got this nice water bottle for doing running and also field archery from Trisha. It's got a fully adjustable strap and compartments to hold things like keys and, and various sundry items. But basically, when you're on the 3D range shooting archery, you might need some water and some snacks, and that's where this nice pack comes in. So appreciate that from Trisha. Now to the main subject, you see here, some 45 caliber 255 grain round nose flat points that we casted up but these are actually 269 grains and here we have the 240 grain 44 caliber bullets that actually weigh 264 grains but these are all ready to go they have the 45 45 10 already on there. Let's give you a close-up of those. So when bullets are not lubed with 45, 45, 10, they have a kind of a silverish look to them. But when they're lubed with 45, 45, 10, they have this nice little patina on there. You can see the difference. But these are nice and dry, they're not sticky, and they look pretty nice even though they've been lubed. Let's go ahead and load these. So here we are on our Dillon 550B loading those 44 Magnum rounds and the Progressive Press has all the stations filled with cartridges in various stages of loading. So here we go, ready to run the stroke. Doing four operations at once. So we advance the shell plate, new case in one, a bullet in three, run the press, crimps the bullet in station four, deprime and resize in one, reprime. Advance shell plate, drop the loaded round, new case in one, bullet in three, and we just keep going like this.
Well, we won't bore you with any more of this, so we'll just keep going. Here we go. Well, bullet casters and reloaders out there got 50 rounds of our completed reloads. Once again, it's the Lee 264 grain round nose bullet loaded in 44 magnum cases, 8.5 grains of Herco. And these are the brass casings that we wet tumbled. I think from now on, I'm gonna be decapping my brass first and then wet tumbling, because that way I'll have clean primer pockets also. But uh, like these loads, we'll go ahead and test them. Fortune Cookie 45LC, see you next video. Bye for now.